Hello, what is going on with your YouTubes? Man, it's been a minute to be something kind of happy about, but I am ecstatic. So if you guys didn't know, uh, I believe the sneakers app, Nike sneakers app had a huge, huge freaking like restock uh, Jordan reservation or Jordan reserve. I think those was called like a ticket. The Nike sneakers app, they had a lot of stuff. Let me go back and recap this real quick. They had a lot of stuff. I think they had like some, the Jordan 1 pin something with the kind of like a rusted look. I forgot what it was called. I never got those things. Um, they had... The Hyper Royals, they had the U UNC 4s, they had the Shadow 2.0s, the, the Raging Bull 5s. They had a lot of stuff and it was basically in almost all sizes, like men's sizes, GS sizes. It was a lot of good stuff, guys. So if you guys missed out, that was probably one of the best times to get something. Like, I've never get W's on Stinkers app. I barely ever get W's and I can't believe I got three W's, man. Three W's, I kid you not. Like I was surprised myself. I've, I heard some people it wasn't it wasn't able to get W's. Hey man, it's just sneakers app. I don't know what to tell you, bro. There's no real trick to it. It just kind of it just kind of happened. I don't know. Maybe I just got lucky or something. You know, like I needed a W from the sneakers app, man. After everything this year, I think this is probably one of my first W's for me. For me, I haven't got a good W in a while. I think the last W I got, even though even though it was my wifey's account, was the Sean uh sps but that's a good w i'm not saying it's not but that's a still a good w but i'm just glad that i finally got a good w and not only that this was like this one of these shoes here i can't remember i think it's this one this was like my like one of those shoes that i didn't wasn't able to get for retail i finally got this shoe for retail and trust me i paid my dues i paid up the wazoo i had to pay very expensive for early pair because you know for, as a youtuber you guys got to get that early pair for the early looks the early reviews and all that stuff it just trust me it's expensive people think that you know i get these things for retail and stuff nah bro i don't really get a lot of things for for retail i'm just keeping 100. i, I pay a lot especially for these early pairs every early pair you, uh, you see me uh pick up or unbox or whatever just so you guys know I pay a good amount. In this day and age, man, you can't get an early pair less than like almost 400 nowadays, okay? So just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead, let's open this up. And it looked like Nike, did they switch back to the tape now? Like they got the tape here on two boxes and then they got this weird looking one. This is the one that had the, um, I know everyone don't like this box here because you can just kind of just open it up, which I plan on doing, but it has a QR code now on the box. I don't even know what that's about. Well, let's find out. Let's see here. Go. The QR code is goes to Nike.com, and it just shows up to their um, website. And there's, I guess, that's what they're showing me. That's the QR code. Okay, I guess that's cool. Like I said, triple unboxing. Let's go ahead. Let's open this one up. This was the one that first came up um, from Nike sneakers app, of course. And let's see here. So it came with this. The crappy box. This is probably one I don't like at all. Okay, so this is an Air Jordan 1 box. Look at that. It's my size, size 9. And is this the one I didn't get for retail? Is it? Is it? Is it? Nope. I did already have these for retail. And sheesh. I already have a pair, so I'm good. I might try to let these things go. And it's crazy how much the resale price on these things pretty much dipped. Like, I did these things for, I think, uh, day one, these things were going for like 280. I think I'm seeing prices now like at 210, 220, which is kind of crazy. But it's okay, man. It's Air Jordan 1. We'll see what happens. You know, it's a clean colorway. I just think the kind of the, the, the Shout 2.0 hype kind of went out, you know? So it's all good. I'm still happy I got a W on that. So appreciate all right we're gonna open this one up i believe okay yeah this one is one just i don't feel like cutting the tape but you can just pull the one on the back out like this boom like that now number two you guys see it with the wooden box which is kind of crazy to me which is still a really nice looking shoe this is a size 10 this is probably one of the shoes that is still one of the the better releases and I'm surprised that no one's really hyped up about these things you know Air Jordan 5 I'm still really dig this shoe I'm glad to have it 
I know these things back then they came in a pack so these things were actually you know like hyped up you know when they before they came out and of course now since there's like a super GR I guess maybe people are not really feeling these things man I'm just glad to actually still have these things in the collection um, I still have actually the pair that I actually won uh, earlier this year so this was actually a good little double up um, but still it's a clean colorway it's a clean shoe Man, Raging Bull 5s. That one, Raging Bull 5s, still a good shoe, still clean colorway. I'm glad they retroed it and everyone was able to get a pair. Uh, but anyways, um, this now this is the pair that I finally got a, a, a W on. I finally got a retail pair. Like, I took all L's. I even went to Chicago, took all L's. And yeah, man, these things restocked a couple times, like at finish line and these things got delayed too it was just a big mess this release here man but anyways let's just open this up talk more about it all right third w i wish i would have got the unc fours but it's okay you know it's all good still happy you got three pairs but anyways this is actually going to be my actual pair now this is going to be my personal i'm keeping these things these I've still got a couple pairs too as well that I'm haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them yet. Maybe hold them, sell them or something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But here it is. Woo! One of the better Air Jordan ones. So so far Air Jordan Air Jordan ones, I've gotten some pretty good W's. Um, uh, especially for the ones I wanted. I got the U University Blue. I got one W. And like I said, this is probably, you know, the Royal Blues is probably one of the better Air Jordan ones to come out this year. And I wasn't able to get a W, man. These things were pretty limited. The shipping was a mess on these things. This was like one of the worst. Like, remember, I think most stores only had GS sizes on the release date. So you just couldn't get a pair. Um, you know how what the beginning of the year was with the whole pandemic and shipping delays and all that crap. But yeah, I wasn't able to get a W. I'm just super happy now that I actually have a freaking retail pair from Nike, from Nike, you know? Like that's rare to get a W from Nike, so I'm, I was happy for that. Hey, but I'm also hearing these things are actually restocking in some, restocking in some places, like uh, some Finish Line got them or some JD Sports or Hibbits too as well. Like these things are still making it to some stores. You know, people were hitting me up and like, hey, you wanna buy some pairs? I just hit these you know on the restock i'm like what you hit these things on restock since when and even jimmy jazz i think they how many times have they been on back on the raffle for crying out loud and i thought the flex app like remember on the flex app, i thought they're gonna go back or actually they did they go they went back on the flex app of course and it was just a big old l it was just a big old l this is one of those shoes i think people just got kind of tired of because the way how it was released i'm actually really disappointed that nike and jordan brand didn't went ahead and just delayed this release you know like push back the release because they weren't ready for this release man it, it was crazy it was mayhem um you know how it is when they have shipping delays and things don't go according to plan people go crazy they're like oh my god and then they spent I'm, I'm sure some people spent like six hundred dollars five hundred dollars on day one of the release i know i did so that, that's what i'm saying man nike should just I still feel like this is one of the worst releases and I felt I wish they went ahead and pushed back the release because I think even one time my my guy um shouts to Not Your Ever Sneakerhead. I even drove down to Cincinnati and scooped up a pair from him too. So hey, whatever it takes it is, you know how it is this, this YouTube is, man. You gotta cop these things, you gotta make make that grind, you gotta make that sacrifice, you gotta make that drive. You know, it's a lot of time and effort. So so definitely 2021 has definitely been a really tough year for a lot of people. It's been a really tough year, but hey, getting through it, guys. The year's almost over. I feel like things are getting better. I hope, but <laughs> you already know how it is, man. Sneakers is just so tough to get nowadays. It is super tough, but hey, it's the game we play and it's the game we love, right? But anyway, guys, that's pretty much end of the video, guys. I'm actually hearing rumors that there might be another uh, Jordan reserve restock on the sneakers app maybe this weekend or even uh freaking today I, I don't even know if there is i'll make another video about it but i'm just saying there's a lot of rumors because like i said a lot of shipping del delays and or returns maybe i have no idea how nikes keep getting so much more inventory but it is what it is but anyway guys appreciate y'all thank you guys so so much if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here 
comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Jummer Chris on IG, sometimes I'm on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.